Importance of Managing Safety and Health in Construction This short topic presents reasons to implement an effective safety and health management system in the workplace. Thousands of work-related accidents are reported to the Health and Safety Authority each year. Many more accidents occur which are not reportable but nevertheless result in economic losses. Each accident costs a business in terms of wages, lost production and time, and sometimes in terms of compensation or penalties. Work-related ill health is often difficult to measure. However, it is estimated that in Ireland more than one million days are lost at work each year due to work-related ill health. Most workplace accidents and ill health cases can be avoided by more effective occupational safety and health management in organisations. The Safety, Health and Welfare at Work Act 2005 requires that employers ensure, so far as is reasonably practicable, the safety, health and welfare of employees. The 2005 Act also requires that employers manage and conduct work activities in such a way as to ensure the safety, health and welfare of their employees. This means an employer needs to be proactive in managing safety, health and welfare responsibilities and to deal with them in a systematic way. Ethical business practice ensures that workers are not endangered while performing their duties. It also means that an employer can work with a clear conscience. The proactive management of safety, health and welfare in the workplace helps organisations prevent accidents and ill health at work. Select the correct answers and click Submit. In this topic, you learned why you should implement a safety and health management system in the workplace.